you are about to hit enter. Just one word or a question. What happens next isn't just magic, but it's a cascade of systems built over decades, optimized to give you the best possible result. Billions of possibilities just under a second. This is how a search engine works. To show you any result, the search engine must first know that your page exists. That's where crawling begins. Think of it as sending automated explorers, bots or spiders to travel the web link by link. Every time a page links to another, that's a trail. The spider follows it. But spiders don't go in blind. Every website has some kind of door policy, a file called robots.txt. It tells the crawler what it can and can't access. Some pages are off limits, others encouraged. This is the search engine's first step, discovering the web one link at a time. But how do we know that the crawler or which crawler is crawling through my website? Every crawler identifies itself with a user agent string that is a unique ID or a pass key that it passes to the server. Here's what it looks like. But these IDs can be faked. Anyone can pretend to be Googlebot. So how do we tell the real ones from the imposters? We use something called a reverse DNS lookup. If the crawler claims to be from Google, the IP address should resolve back to google.com. Once a page is crawled, its contents are stored in something called the index. But this isn't just storage. It's a structured system designed to organize information in real time. Each page carries context, keywords, structure, freshness, and how users interact with it. To make this fast, the search engine uses something called an inverted index. Imagine a library with millions of books. Now, instead of searching every book to find where Apple is mentioned, there's a magical index card at the front desk. This card doesn't list books, it lists words. You ask for Apple and the librarian instantly hands you a list. Book A, page 10. Book M, page 52. Book X, page 3. You skip the searching, you just jump to the answers. That's what the inverted index does for the search engine. Rather than asking what pages have these words, it already knows. The words point to these pages. It's like a word-first table of contents. Now when you search, it's the index that is queried and not the internet. The search engine already knows where everything lives. But what matters now is how it is ranked. Imagine each web page as a bucket and hyperlinks as pipes connecting those buckets. Every page holds certain amount of page rank, like water, and every link it gives out is a pipe through which it shares some of that value. The more links a page has, the thinner its pipes, meaning less water flows through each of them. But if important pages link to you, you get more water, more weight, more trust. In the eyes of a search engine, that makes your page important. It's simple principle. Pages linked to by many others gain importance. If those links come from authoritative pages, their impact grows. Links are like votes, but some votes count more than the others. That's where backlinks come in. Links from other websites pointing to your page. It's like an endorsement or a signal of trust. A strong backlink profile is like being recommended by top tier experts. Nearly every top ranking page has a backlink. According to Moz, 99.2% of search results have at least one backlink. Now let's talk about crawl budget. Crawling has limits and the search engine assigns a crawl budget to every website. 
it is the number of pages that can be crawled in a given time frame. Crawl rate is how quickly bots can scan your site without overwhelming your server. Crawl demand is how important or popular your pages are. It's about relevance, updates, and whether people care. Crawl budget is like delivery capacity, how fast the trucks can drive and how valuable their cargo is. Big site, low budget, many pages just don't get crawled. It all comes down to this. Crawl budget is equal to crawl demand times crawl rate. Your page's visibility depends on it. Crawl efficiency is critical. That's where tools like robot.txt and meta directives come in. Directives are rules, instructions for bots. Do index this, don't follow that link. Ignore this page after a date. Used well, they help bots focus on what matters and skip what doesn't. Search engines aren't crawling the web just for you. They're crawling the web for everybody. What personalizes your result is your data, your location, your device, and your search history. The algorithm pieces all these clues together and guess what you're really asking. So the next time you hit search, remember what happens behind the blink of an eye response. Billions of pages, algorithms in motion, signals weighed, all to answer your questions.